I bet you're wondering what in the world is this woman doing in the bathroom? Um, I'm Sue with Avis Bridal Couture in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, and today I'm going to teach you in this video how to care for your dress and the wrinkles as a destination bride. And keep in mind, a destination bride no longer is that beachy bride. The destination bride could be somebody who's just getting married in another state, or maybe you're going to Colorado or Austin, Texas, or somewhere cool where you're going to be traveling with your dress. You could be traveling by plane or by car, and these tips in this video are definitely going to be for you. Be sure you watch all the way to the end of this video because I love sharing pro tips, and I'm gonna give you a bonus feature and some pro tips at the end of this video, and I know you'll wanna catch those as well. So I'm in a bathroom at a hotel right now because most of you are gonna be staying somewhere. You can be in your home, and essentially, the steam, um, that we're gonna create a steam room here for your wedding dress. Um, obviously, you've probably seen some of my videos about traveling with your dress, um, steaming. I do a lot of videos teaching you how to steam, like with a professional steamer or a, com a commercial grade or a residential grade steamer. And then obviously you can pay a service in the area that you're going to be traveling to, but not all of us want to spend the money to have it done. I understand that. Um, and not all of us have the resources available to us with other businesses that we trust. And we don't really like the idea of taking our wedding dress to someone that we don't trust. And so I understand both of those. So I'd like to give you guys good tips just in case you need them. Um, my pro tip would be definitely hire a professional to have this professionally done if you have a dress that really needs it. And if you're not sure if your dress really needs it, comment below, ask me, tell me, um, just tell me hello and tell me what your question is and I will totally walk you through that. And I can guarantee you that if you have that question, another bride is gonna watch this video and see your question and think, oh my goodness, I'm so glad someone else had that question too. Now, if you cannot, um, if you, if you have a bathroom that is big, small, it doesn't really matter. I like to find the smallest bathroom that I can find because I don't like to waste the water and I want to get that small enclosed steam room if I can. So hopefully you have a small bathroom that has a shower. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is just shut the shower curtain door. I don't want the dress to get wet, clearly, and so I'm going to now put the dress on to the shower curtain. You can either face the dress outward like this if you want to do it in multiple stages. I like to face the dress forward and, and then also face it like this. So face it forward and then turn it around. The reason why is the train. A lot of times the train is the most so this is an opportunity for me to show you how to do that. Now we have the train out and essentially we're going to take a shower with the dress. I've got all the doors closed. Turn on the shower for about five minutes and let the steam build. Then you can turn the shower off. You may not even need that long. You may find that the steam in the room builds in shorter time, but usually about three to five minutes works great. Then you're gonna turn the water off and then you're just gonna let the room steam the dress. Now I do have a veil here. And this veil I have also put into a suitcase. It's just out of my suitcase, just so it's nice and wrinkled. And I'm gonna also steam this with it as well with all the wrinkles. If you have a mother's dress, flower girl dress, bridesmaids, just line them all up and you can do them all at one time. That way you'll save yourself time and also save water. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the steam on and let this room kind of build up for a little bit and we'll check back here in a minute and see how it looks. Now I've got the steam all kind of dried up and I've allowed the dress to dry for a couple of hours. If you can allow the dress to dry overnight, it is, it's going to give you so much better results. But if you don't have that opportunity, just let it dry as much as possible to where the room doesn't feel steamy anymore. And I can't wait to show you how well this turned out. So check out the veil. 
totally awesome. I love it. It turned out great. So this was a really good one. And the dress, the dress turned out great as well. The train is definitely not as wrinkled as it was before. And with lace, one of the things you really have to remember is lace travels so well. So the lace is actually not gonna be your issue. It's the satin and the lining that are in there. Um, you're gonna notice some of that. It may bother you if you have my personality and you like things to be a certain way. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's your wedding dress, it's your wedding day. So wanting it to be perfect and precise there's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of us are more laid back too, and it's gonna definitely give you great results. If you can pack, here's my pro tip. If you can pack a handheld steamer in your suitcase, um, I do recommend that. You can get some bottled water when you get to your destination. If you're in a car, you're definitely gonna have the luxury of doing that, but a lot of you are gonna find, let me just try this little pro tip of taking a shower with my wedding dress and see what kind of results you get. And if you don't like the results, then you can hit it a little bit with the steam. This tip might save you some time. And I know time is money, especially with your wedding getting closer. So feel free to try this out and then comment below in the video and let me know if you have tried this method and what kind of results you have received. And as always, if you are new to our store, I wanna personally welcome you to Ava's Bridal Couture. We are a salon that um, helps brides say yes to the perfect dress. We really focus on making the experience fun. That is our most important priority. And we love welcoming you and your guests and forming a team bride with our staff and getting to know you and your goals and helping you reach your goals on finding the ideal dress. If you haven't been into our salon, comment below, say hello to me, or send me a direct message on Instagram. And I would love to walk you through all of the questions and answers that you might need. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.